59 here. How's it going, everyone? Hey, I want to talk about a medical deal here called steroid injections. Uh, they put steroids into your spine. I have a low back problem. I've been dealing with this for uh, about three years. But what they do is they, they, uh, they inject uh, steroids into your lumbar, lower lumbar. Anyway, uh, I just want to let you guys share that with you. It sucks. You know, it's bullshit. But anyway, uh, you go get the procedure done. They tell you no eating, no drinking, like six hours no eating, and then uh, two hours no drinking. Alcohol, coffee, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and, and you know what? And make sure you, you got to be clean because they see your butt and they, you know, <laughs> and now and make sure you got clean underwear. That's number one. Priority. Clean drawers. Because, you know, all the nurses are there and you want to impress them anyway. So you got to put on your nicest boxers and go in there. But anyway, I haven't done my other half. She mixes the whites with the, with the uh, colors. So I went to grab a pair of drawers. Well, they're kind of different color, you know. They're not really white like they're supposed to be. So I explained to the girls at the thing in there. Uh, sorry about the drawers there. The, uh, she mixes the colors. So I always have a nice, fresh pair of clean ones when you go in. But anyway, what they do is they, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they give you uh, the procedure. They numb you up, kind of. Then they put the needles in the back. They shoot the Novocaine in there. And you'll kick a mule's ass with your feet flap. So you got to kind of hold your feet down. Then they, uh, they inject the uh, steroid. And it's 15 minutes, you're out of there. But then you're paralyzed from the waist down after when you leave. So they push you out in a wheelchair, all right? And then uh, the reason they tell you not to eat or drink, and I know why, they won't tell you. But I think they tell you that because you don't feel nothing from the waist down. And if you ate or drank something, you might have a friggin' accident. You might shit or piss yourself. So anyway, that's why they tell you. But, yeah, because you have no control. And don't drive your car back down the freeway because you won't feel the brake pedals. So just take their advice and listen to them. But anyway, and then if you come home and start drinking because you're pissed off, you want to get drunk and shit after you get the, the procedure done, some people go and drink. I said, you don't want to do that either because they give you this form, and I'm going to cover it up so you don't see. But you got to, like, every, every 30 minutes, every half hour, every hour, up until, like, 10 hours, you got to keep documenting your pain and shit. So that's why I say don't drink. Fucking don't drink. Because you're, gonna, you're not going to remember. You'll forget to do the shit. Then you won't know if you're feeling the pain from the alcohol or the whatever. No painkillers either. Just ride it out. Okay, anyway, you guys. Peace out from uh, Mr. Blues Harps 5'9 channel. There's my wristband, too. See? Look at that. Yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.